You know that really annoying thing when you're watching a YouTube video and there's background music and you can't really hear what someone's saying and you just wish that they would turn it down a little bit while they're talking and then maybe back up again when the action kicks in. Well, that is exactly what I'm gonna show you how to do today in Final Cut Pro. So let's get into it. Hey friends, Will here. Um, as I said in the intro, really quick tutorial today. Um, how do you reduce the volume of your music while you're talking in a video, whether that be commercial video, YouTube video, vlog, anything like that. Um, so we're gonna show how you get your high volume for whatever, there's no talking, and then it's called ducking. Actually, it's called audio ducking. You're gonna reduce that volume while you're talking, and then you can bring it back up, and it's super easy to do in Final Cut Pro. So let's dive into my screen. What we have here is just a really quick project that I've put together. Um, all it is, is we've got, let's turn that down, uh, is we've got a little time lapse. This is where you might want your music nice and loud. Let's just mute that for now. Uh, and then what I've done is I've just put in a really random clip of me from a previous video talking. And if I unmute this, you'll see at the moment, you can't really hear me. I wouldn't say that I am like, awful and then at the end of me talking it cuts back to another bit of sort of time lapse footage that I did previously. So what we obviously want to do is we want to reduce the volume of the music from here to here and we want it to be lovely and smooth. So the first way you could do this, this might even be the way that you've seen people do, it's not, I'm not advising this. Uh, so what we can do is we can obviously cut the music here. So if I do uh, select the audio, do command B and then come to the end of my talking, select the audio and do command B and then reduce it, then uh, that sort of works. So first off I want to talk about build quality. I but it's a bit sort of jumpy, it's a bit sudden, isn't it? So that's no good. So let's undo that, uh, undo, undo, undo. There's a much better way we can do this and it's super quick and super easy. So let's get into that. So. Uh, I'm going to reduce that volume again. Uh, if we select R on the keyboard, that is the range tool. You can also get to it via this little drop down here and you can select range selector. Okay, and then on your audio track, you want to select the area where you want the audio to reduce in volume. So I'm going to go pretty much from the start of my talking and I'm going to select all the way along to the end of the talking, right? So now we've got this selection um, highlighted. Let me just zoom in on that a little bit. So now when you hover over this clip, you can see this line which denotes the volume and you can see my mouse has turned into an up and down arrow. If I just click and hold that, then I can actually drag my audio volume down to where I want it to be. Let's try minus 19. And what you can see it's done there is it's added keyframes for us. A keyframe for where the sort of transition begins down to the lowest point which we've set and then at the other end of it you can see it's added another keyframe and then a ramp up to the desired volume at the end. So let's play that for a second. Uh, turn this back up again for a minute. So first off I want to talk about build quality. I always thought these seemed really tiny Beautiful. and neat, but uh, they have stood up incredibly well. To the and then at the end of the talking section, and over that, here, I've just jumped forward a bit. Any signs of wear whatsoever, so that's really good. Perfect. A few other things to note. Uh, you can change these once you've added them. So I could, if I wanted that to start a bit sooner, I can select the keyframe and I can move that one further away. And then I can select this keyframe and move it slightly further away as well. So then that means that my, my fade starts a bit quicker, like so. So first off, I want to talk about which I think is actually a bit better in that specific use case. Uh, same at the other end, um, if I thought it was starting to fade a bit too quick, I can move the outside one along a bit and the inside keyframe along a bit, and then that's gonna 
um, delay the increase in volume like this. Ever, so that's really good. Lovely, so you can fine tune those keyframes once you've done them. Um, the other thing is if we uh, delete that end bit of footage, say that's the end of the video, I can just drag that keyframe all the way down and then that's a fade out. So that's really good. Nice. Uh, or, you know, lift it back up again and fade back to my whatever my volume is that I want it to be. So that's it. Really easy audio ducking, reducing the volume of the music behind your talking when you're doing a video. So super easy. Hope that was helpful. If it was, give the video a thumbs up. If you like these sort of final cut tutorials, gear reviews, uh, me sharing general stuff as I learn filmmaking and photography, then subscribe to the channel. You'll get updated next time I upload a video. And other than that, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.